Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the snake again. My DMs last night were flooded with messages from you guys, video clips. Nicole State announced that she is no longer doing mystery shows and listen to the bullshit answer that she gave as to why. Ready? Here we go. It's like a really weird day. We are having our last mystery show on Friday. That's all I'm going to say. We're having our very final mystery. I'm having our very final mystery show on Friday. The last one. The last one. Because it is what it is. Because I want to. Um, Dolls Kill. The final mystery show. The final. I'll text you guys. Uh, the final mystery show. Because we're moving to singles. Because we're scaling. Because we're moving into a warehouse. Because we're starting to work with brands. And we're starting to get contracts. And it's very hard to do that if you are selling mystery shows. Who's going to contract a scammer? That's all I got to say about that. Unfortunately, mystery shows are fun, but they're not really scalable, and there's bigger things on the horizon, and I had to make some re Like prison. Really hard choices. Really, really hard choices, and we're trying to get some brand deals, and one of those choices has to be to kind of leave the mystery boxes behind, so even if it's scary. Scary. Ah. Yes, I will make fun of her fucking voice because she fucking deserves it. All the shit that she's done, she deserves to have her voice made fun of. It's the right move for the business as a whole, and <laughs> it is what it is. We're not leaving whatnot. We're not leaving whatnot. We're just leaving like mystery box game show styles behind. So. Who thinks whatnot gave her an ultimatum? Like, hey, stop the mystery box shows, or who thinks that? Comment down below. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to like tell. I can't really share a lot more details. Um, Why is that? Weird. Hmm. But just like everyone else, sometimes you got to grow and you got to change. And uh, and you got to come up with a new scam because everyone has caught on to this scam that I'm currently running and the reviews are coming in and shit's really hitting the fan. So I need to completely pivot and do something different. By different, I mean just different scam. You got to move on up, right? Yeah, you're going to move on up to prison. Really hard to scale in a mystery box, right? Like you're very limited to a lot of a lot of factors. Moving into, yeah, listen, think about like a uh, box lunch. I, I'm looking to sell all that kind of product, right? So I'm focusing on Disney, I'm focusing on pop culture. I'm still focusing on all the things that we love. Uh, My dog cannot stand her voice. We're gonna scale and we're gonna move on and that's not pretty We're gonna create an even bigger scam and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna rip so many fucking people off because that's what I do. That's what I've been doing for years and years and years and I just can't fucking stop. Ah. I was gonna uh, slowly phase it out and we just had to make a decision today to do it. Like, Could it be an ultimatum? Is that why you had to just make a decision? Is that why? Is that why? Yeah. Media, basically. Media. It just seemed like the right move. I don't know if I like officially made this announcement. Joe worked at Intel for, I don't know, eight years. Um, and mm. his last day is the 30th. So he took a package. He's done. And he's full time with me on this now. How many times has Joe quit his job there at Intel? I'll say it because you just said it. How many times has he quit his job there and gone full time with you? She said that multiple fucking times. But now, now he's really doing it? What? And um, I told him that I slowly wanted to phase out mystery. And he said, no, we're doing it. We're doing it now. It's obvious she's stopping her mystery shows for a reason. She was making a lot of money doing that. So for her to just stop all of a sudden doesn't make fucking sense. There's got to be some reason. Her bullshit answer of wanting to scale. We got to scale. You're not going to scale shit. Your lies are catching up with you. Your scams are catching up with you. You're being investigated by federal people okay i'm not gonna say anything else about that the clock is ticking and prison is calling your name what brands do you guys think nicole is trying to work with somebody actually messaged me on instagram and said that they contacted one of them they said they have insider information i can't say anything more than that the reviews are still coming in strong on the app store which is a good thing again in my opinion the best thing to do if you've had a bad experience with nicole state is to leave a review on the apple app store Whatnot can't control it, Nicole can't control it, and a shit ton of people will see it. Here's some of her recent Whatnot reviews. One star, this lady is a thief. She wants to charge you 30 to $40 on a bid, and then if you don't win, she wants to give you a 99 cent cheap ass toy or $2 candy. If you wanna throw money away, she's the one to do it with. I work hard for my money. It's a crime to rip people off like that. Shame on you. And she's gonna be like, well, you didn't read the rules, ah, it's your own fault, ah. You're still taking advantage of people whether they read the fucking rules or not. This one's a one-star review. I purchased two Disney lots 
For a total of $28.77, I received six Disney postcards. You have got to be kidding. I can't believe Whatnot allowed this scam. 1.2 stars. Shipping took weeks to move. Two full weeks until delivered after I had to contact seller because package wasn't moving. Wait, that reminds me. Um, Hold on. We're going to pause on reviews. I'm going to make a whole separate video talking about reviews because she's been getting a lot of bad reviews recently and I'm just gonna read them to you guys. Just to once again show you guys proof, Nicole State is claiming that 99% of the shit that's said on the internet isn't true. So 99% of these people are lying? Shut the fuck up. This person contacted me and said, I just wanna give you an update that you may find interesting. I messaged on 917 in the morning and at 9.17 p.m., it started tracking. Unbelievable. But believable, it's one way to keep costs down and be a horrible person. So this person sent a message to Nicole. Hi there, just wondering when you'll be shipping the September 7 giveaways. Have a fabulous day. So they said, hey, Brie here. The orders from 9.7 are en route, but the shipping depot our team uses doesn't always scan them in along their route. What? What? I expect your giveaway win to arrive this week. If not, we can get you a replacement. So this girl sent the message at 12.35 on September 17th. And then we can see the tracking info started tracking on September 17th. That's just another coincidence, guys. Come on. It's just another coincidence. Uh, first of all, Brie, what the fuck are you... Let's go back to what Brie said. The shipping depot our team uses doesn't always scan them in along their route. You mean they're just like holding on to packages? and not scan. No, they can't fucking do that. Shut the fuck up. They can't fucking do that. I've had multiple people in my messages say, hey, I have a family member. I know someone that works at the post office. They legally have to scan them in with a certain time frame. They can't sit at the fucking post office for eight days without being scanned in. Trust me, I've called them. I've talked to them. That'll be coming in a video soon. Once again, guys, the videos that I have coming, you're gonna be like, holy fuck, Nicole is a liar, holy fuck. A lot of you guys already know that, but some of the ones that don't quite know that yet will realize it very soon. We're gonna end the video with this review. 3.2 stars. Nice idea, but the iPad is so old, it's almost unusable. 2013, no updates available since 2019. Leave it up to Nicole to give away an obsolete iPad. Like, come on, I used to work for Apple, I know. A 2013 iPad? Who would want that? Maybe like an 85 year old woman that has no idea how to use technology and is trying to use it for the first time and has the um, the patience to sit there and wait 15 minutes for an app to load. Maybe that's, that's the type of person that would enjoy a 2013 iPad. All right guys, that's it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because like I said, the videos that I'm coming out with in the next couple of days are going to blow your mind. We're gonna have some laughs. We're gonna have some holy shits. We're gonna have some OMGs. As always, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.